Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is... How many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. Explains a lot. For Baron A, too. It's getting cold on this island. Oh, merde. If I collaborate, can I live with myself? I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. 5,000 barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first, I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? We, I see it. These Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. <laughs> Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things. Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious! Alright, keep your neckers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Mad. Look at this. Fucking Nazis everywhere. Infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. The supply cache is down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady, mate. 
Let's just get what we came for. Espèce d'enfant du merde! Christ, here we go. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. The supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and foot oars on the surface of that building. Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. Help me, Irishman! We could not allow them to sound the alarm! Ich treibe ihn zurück! The neun hat's erwischt! Now let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates! Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. How are you feeling, Irishman? I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah, huh? most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend. What were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the Resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a Resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. That's my cue. Time to leg it.
right out. Ha! We did it! Tonight we changed the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. You almost admit it. That fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear. It's a rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, I. If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. 